If you are a woman who is still doing intermittent fasting, you need to listen up and wake up because while you think you're doing something good for your health, you actually might be damaging your cardiovascular health and therefore reducing your lifespan. Yeah, I said it. So one of the things I have been out here talking about for literally years is that women do not benefit from something like time-restricted eating or intermittent fasting, which is when you purposely shorten the window of time that you're eating because you think it's giving you benefits like autophagy, you think it's going to help with weight loss, you think it's going to help with your energy. And the fact of the matter is women's physiology is very different than men or female is very different than male. And even in this study where they did not necessarily look at those differences across the board, they found that there was an increase in cardiovascular health risk with time restricted intermittent fasting. So we need to start waking up and paying attention. And I have really noticed a lot of people, and I've said this before, I have a beef. There are a couple of very, very well-known doctors who talk about, I love how I do this, doctors. They are doctors, but they are not well-informed. And they are like promoting time restricted eating. And I see one of two things, either they're promoting time restricted eating. And when you actually get down to the bottom of what they're saying and actually get them to like sit down and tell you number of hours to not eat, it's just normal, like eat dinner, go to sleep. You're not eating while you're sleeping, wake up, eat breakfast. So anybody who's trying to push something like time restricted eating and is simply saying you have dinner at like, 5 or 6 p.m. and then you don't eat again until like 6 or 7 in the morning the next day. I freaking hate that. That is just a normal eating pattern and eating rhythm. That is not time restricted eating, okay? Like come the F on. It drives me bonkers. So there's people who are doing that, who are talking about time restricted eating, but when you actually get them to sit down and say what they mean, that's what they mean, which goes back to like, then what are they selling you, right? And the second thing is there are doctors who are pushing time-restricted eating as the solution to everything. And especially for women, what I see a lot of is actually women who are going low blood sugar, so hypoglycemic, rather than high blood sugar going hyperglycemic. And that can be just as damaging and detrimental to your body. And the reason I see that more often is because women have a history of restricting calories, restricting food groups, and doing extreme diets where they're not eating very much, or they're eating a lot of health foods, like a lot of raw veggies, and not eating a lot of protein or animal meat. And that is going to make you more prone to those low blood sugar dips. And the truth of the matter is, whether you're going low blood sugar or high blood sugar, the difference between like what your average is and that swing that you go in either direction, that can be the same. So it's just as damaging if your body is typically dipping 70 points below or 70 points above where average should be. It's just as damaging. It's just as inflammatory to your body but not enough women are focusing on the fact that they're dipping low and that if you're dipping low, you probably need different strategies than a male who is going very high because he's eating a lot of junky food and not paying attention to his health. So these are very different situations. Does that make sense? And if you want help, like that is what I am here for. You can head to the link in my bio, the Balanced Hormone Blueprint, my self-paced course that literally, as soon as you buy it, you get immediate and instant access to. You can literally binge the entire course in a weekend and start applying things. And after you apply those things for a couple of months, you're gonna notice immense changes in how you feel. And nothing that I teach is something as extreme as this time-restricted eating, where we're not eating for 14 to 16 hours and depriving our body of the nutrients that it needs in order to signal safety, in order to signal it's okay, in order to signal not to stress, in order to signal that blood sugar should be balanced, okay? These are all so, so important and you're probably not doing those things. So check out the course. It's going to be the very best resource for you to start right now.